Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. Right now I have the Pantech element. I'm gonna run a few benchmark tests, show you the results out of the box. It features a dual core 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor and it's coupled with one gigabyte of RAM. It features an eight inch display, 1024 by 768 resolution. Now as far as just the performance out of the box, you know, we're just navigating across the home screen. It exhibits a good amount of responsiveness, very fluid with its movement overall. Doing other basic tasks, kinetic scrolling, um, opening up applications, it's pretty responsive. And you can tell nice buttery movement with uh, pinch gesture, so very nice indeed. Uh, pretty much, you know, deems it as a high-end device here. Uh, but if we test it out, run something a little bit more graphically intensive, let's say a live wallpaper, we'll just select one. Only two options here, unfortunately, but we'll just pick the hollow spiral. Not the most uh, intensive uh, live wallpaper out there, but nevertheless, we'll just take a look and see what how it performs. It looks like it maintains its uh, responsive movement, able to track our finger. Uh, barely, a little bit of choppy movement, but not that noticeable at all. We put it to portrait though, as we've seen on many Android Honeycomb devices, normally see a lot more, uh, you know, uh, uh, slowdown. And we do notice just a teeny bit of, of choppiness, but overall still maintaining that nice fluid movement. But again, this live wallpaper is not the most graphically intensive out there, but you know, just gives you a good, good indication of what to expect. So let's uh, jump right in. Let's put it back to a static wallpaper. We'll run the first first benchmark test being Quadrant. Let's just run that real quick here, show you. Now we ran, we ran already once, managed to get 3114, so a pretty good respectable mark. Let's see if we could get something close or better than that. And uh, again, you know, it's similar to the Pantech Burst, which we checked out, which also features a dual core processor. That device also managed to impress us with its benchmark results, putting it in line to some other respectable handsets out there in the market, like the Galaxy S2. And from based on these uh, graphical tests here, like this one here, running up to uh, 40 frames per second, maintaining good responsive movement. This one here, running approximately above the 55 frames per second mark. And the last graphical component, graphical test here, is running well above 40 frames per second and good fluidity overall. And let's see what the score is this time around. This time a little bit lower, 3059, but we managed to get easily 3300 on Quadrant. So pretty respectable. Of course, blowing out the uh, single core devices of the past, put it in line to some of the higher end dual core devices out there on the market. I uh, will show you the results we've got with the Antutu benchmark test. Now it gives you a good indication. It gave an overall score of 6323, so a pretty nice score. If we put that in the score chart, Take a look and see how it places against the competition. You can see the Asus Transformer Prime well above the 10,000 mark and some of the other 5,000 up. Devices include the Galaxy Note, Galaxy S2, the Droid Razor, the Radar, uh, the uh, Optimus 2X. And if we put it in the board chart here, you can tell our device, 6323, a little bit below the Galaxy Note. Nowhere close to the Asus Transformer Prime, not surprisingly. Uh, but it edges out devices like the Galaxy S2, the LG Optimus 2X, the Evo 3D. So very impressive as far as just these results are going. And based on what we've seen on the performance side so far of the box, it looks pretty good. But we'll be testing out a little bit more, see how it handles. Last test here, we'll just take a look. We'll just run Neocord just to show you guys. What, what the uh, results are. Let's uh, go back here. Get back into NeoCore. And we'll run this guy. Let's see what kind of mark it gets. So let's just run the benchmark here really quick. So far, just looking at this with the uh, you know fog effects, smoke effects, and stuff like that, it's not slowing down whatsoever. Good maintains a good good amount of uh, fluidity. You can tell like all the textures and all that maintains a really nice look to it. Not bad at all. It, and all with all the smoke and stuff like that, all the effects looks pretty snazzy. And sh finish up very shortly here. Let's see what managed to get 55.6 frames per second. Not bad at all. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much the benchmark results uh, right out of the box with the Pantech Element. But if you'd like to learn more about this tablet, you can check out our website, guys, phonearena.com. This is John V. Thanks for watching.